بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان آئل سپیکنگ پارٹ تھری دیر از دیر از سم تھنگ وچ دا اسٹوڈینٹس آفن فائنڈ ڈیفیکلٹ اینڈ دیٹ از دا ٹائپ آف کویشچن دیٹ دے گیٹ ان اسپیکنگ پارٹ تھری لیٹ می ٹیل یو آئل اسپیکنگ پارٹ تھری از دا تھرڈ لیول آف انگلش اسپیکنگ پارٹ ون از بیسک لیول آف انگلش Part 2 is intermediate level of English and part 3 is advanced level and the questions that examiners are going to ask you, these questions are going to, uh, to be certain types and in this video I am going to tell you about that type. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am an international IELTS trainer. I teach IELTS online all over the world and in campus in Lahore. Well guys, after your cue card which is speaking part 2. examiner will ask you the follow up questions and these follow up questions are related to the cue card we also call it extended questions or we call it discussion as well for example if they give you describe a movie in speaking part 2 they give you a topic describe a movie that you once watched in part 3 they will have extended questions on movies why do people watch movies and all that stuff right In part 3, there are 4 or 5 categories and for each category, I would advise you to learn 5 phrases. You can do it with the help of chat GPT or on your WhatsApp, you have artificial intelligence. There you can learn 5 phrases for, for all the categories. If your target band in speaking is 8 or 9, then you should do it. And if you want to get 5 band, don't watch this video. Stop it here. And do mind your own business, huh? <laughs> I'm not being rude, I'm just joking. So, first of all, they will ask you questions where you have to give benefits and drawbacks. What are the benefits of watching movies in the cinema? What are the drawbacks of watching movies for the children? See that? The first category, we also call it advantages, disadvantages. Now, over here, You need to signpost your answer. Whenever they say what are, so you need to signpost your answer. First of all, the main benefit is, then there is another plus point. And finally, the good thing is, see that this is what we call signposting. So if you use such type of words and phrases, which you can easily learn from chat GPT, just go there and say five phrases to express benefits in English. Five sentences to talk about disadvantages in English. Learn those five phrases. If examiner asks you questions from this first category, use them and this is how you can get good bench score. Second important point is opinion based questions in IELTS speaking part 3. They will ask you questions. Do you think, do you think people will continue to watch movies in the cinema? Do you believe... In your opinion, in your viewpoint, what do you think about? So these type of questions are opinion based questions and in actual exam, examiner may ask you a couple of questions where you have to express your opinion. Now what do you do? Simply go to chat GPT, right? And just say five sentences to express opinion in, in English. So you will get a list of five sentences, learn them on exam day, if examiner coins a question you can easily answer using one of those phrases after this the next important point is comparison in advanced english people are usually asked to compare two things one from the past one from the present or two things which are from present for example life in a village and life in a city okay Uh, do you think people are more friendly now as compared to the past? Now you have to deal with two tenses. In the past, people were very, very friendly. But now people are more selfish, something like that. So you need to go on and elaborate. So you should know how to compare in comparison with. You can use such type of phrases. So just go to chat GPT or whatever AI tool you use And there you write five sentences to express comparison in English. And then learn them. Learn these phrases and use them properly. So this is the third category where examiner may ask you the questions. 
the fourth category which is very important in the end like towards the end examiner will ask you a couple of questions about prediction for example do you think people will continue to watch movies in the cinema in the next 25 years do you think global warming will be controlled in the next 15 years next 20 years next 25 years next 15 years this is what we call prediction now for prediction you need to use the words like in the foreseeable future such type of changes are expected to be made right so say chances are there is a little likelihood of this to happen likelihood chances are foreseeable future like this you need to learn five good phrases to express on prediction in English just go to the same AI tool and say five sentences to express prediction in English you will learn five sentences so whenever the examiner asks you anything like that you can easily answer so these are four major categories and examiner will ask you a couple of questions on these categories sometimes examiner is not satisfied or examiner is indecisive then they may ask you more questions on another topic but the type of questions that i have mentioned they are going to ask you these type of questions so in a nutshell i would say advantages disadvantages there can be a couple of questions on that expressing your opinion there can be a couple of questions on that comparison there can be a couple of questions on that and then prediction so examiner may ask you some questions now if you are familiar with such type of structures and in your answer you use a variety of structures related to prediction comparison advantages disadvantages and opinion you will be able to score nine band okay all the best guys thank you so much i also teach ielts online all over the world and in campus in lahore pakistan we offer ielts test booking service ielts preparation study plans before exam we offer and we've got uh, pte uh, online classes single module preparation especially we've got very good classes for speaking ielts speaking so if you want to get any of these services you can contact us on WhatsApp. Asad Yaqub wholeheartedly wishes you best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz.